Alrighty, everybody. I'm going to make some tilapia tonight. I talked about this in another video. I guess maybe some of you weren't familiar with it. So I thought I'd show you. This is what I buy. It's a four pound bag. You can get it at Walmart. And I like it. It's a good boneless, skinless chicken. Chicken. Fish. Fillets. Fillets. And they come individually wrapped. Mostly. All individually wrapped, which is pretty nice. They got a lot of water in them. When you cut them open, you get the old Green River out. I'm going to cut these open. There's a lot of water in these. You get a mess. Don't spill it all over your counter. So I'll cut them open. Try not to spill any. And I'm going to put these in flour. I guess you want them to stay a little wet, right? So you don't, I'm not going to dry them off. And get hands all wet. My towel should move this down a little bit. There. And all I'm going to do is this is flour. Regular all-purpose flour. I already put salt and pepper in there. And the only other seasoning I'm going to use is some of this Papa Food cayenne pepper. You can get this powder in all different kinds of different brands, but it's all the same cayenne pepper. Pretty, pretty good healthy dose in there because I like it. And then I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to throw these in there. They're nice. Nice fillets of fish. These are not fishy smelling. And they don't taste fishy. Not even at all. They're not fishy at all. So don't worry about that. And they're kind of flaky like a cod or a haddock when you cook it. It's flaky. And I'm going to seal that. And I'm going to shake it. Shake it up pretty good. And then I'm just going to let it set. Probably put it in the refrigerator and just let it set there for a couple hours maybe. Until I'm ready to cook it. And it sucks up all that good flour and gets all ready to deep fry. So that's our first step. And if you want to put garlic powder, onion powder, whatever you want to do. I'm not much for seasoning. I'm really not. I know I have some seasonings now that you all sent me in. But for fish especially, I just... Salt and pepper and that cayenne is about it for me so we're gonna let that set for a while we'll get back here in a minute well there's our breaded tilapia floured breaded floured whatever you call it tilapia getting ready to install some hot oil so I'll give that oil a chance to get hot be back in a minute okay the oil's hot I'm gonna stand back and drop these in the hot oil do four of their small ones. I think they'll all get in there. One more to go. There they are. So we're going to let them go. I'll stir them around a little bit once in a while. I don't know how long it's going to take. I'll just keep checking them. I like to cook my fish well done, so I'll keep an eye on them and 
I will get him out of there. Okay, that's 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Take these out. I like them cooked well, so. Might be too much for some people. And then I'm gonna salt them right away. And there we have it. So I'll get back to you and we'll give it a taste test. Okay, here it is. This is uh, kind of my own homemade sauce, tartar sauce. It's just mayo and relish. And nice flaky flaky tilapia you might not want to cook that much oh that's perfect oh and To top it off, I have a sore tooth today, so I'm just going to pick away at this little by little, and there you have it, tilapia, deep fried, stay frosty.